Welcome to VPN Review Hub, I'm Aldrin. Whether it be ultraviolet rays or ultra instinct, the word ultra has a strong effect on whatever comes after it. When it comes to the world of the internet, there is a VPN service that promises ultra-fast speeds, security, and anon anonymity. Excuse me, that's a hard word. Anonymity. Uh, and that is UltraVPN. UltraVPN is a virtual private network service that lets you browse, download, and stream in a safe and secure way. It makes sure that your private information is protected from snooping and malicious attacks and allows you to freely access online content wherever you are. UltraVPN is based in the United Kingdom and was developed by Network Project and was initially released back in mid-August 2018 and it boasts a rock-solid connection allowing you to stream content uh, with little to no issues and a speedy connection to each of their servers located in over 50 different locations. Today we're going to take a look at some of its features and available plans, then we're going to learn how to install and use the product to see just how ultra it can get. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the actual website first. So um, it has everything that you need, well basic information that you need from the for the uh, service here. Uh, they have the internet unlocked, they, they're claimed to have a, uh, uh, access to the whole web privately and securely. Uh, and then you also have some of their benefits, uh, no buffering, no snooping, no boundaries. Um, just basic information about um, their products, but um, and then there are 50 different server locations around the world, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features that are uh, here on their, um, on their service. So their standard uh, features are the, your 256-bit strong encryption. Um, they also have zero logging policy and uh, some um, advanced features like a kill switch and a firewall. Um, their pricing are, uh, let's see, their pricing is, uh, all right, here we go. They have a uh, $7, seven, excuse me, $7.99 per month for the one month and a $5.99 per month for six months and then their $3.75 for their uh, one year uh, plan. And of course all of them have the 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't want to uh, use their, their product anymore or you just uh, no longer need it or anything or if you encounter any problems I guess then you can always have your money-back guarantee. Uh, in case anything like that happens. So uh, now with all of that uh, out of the way, let's go ahead and actually try uh, the product itself uh, by first uh, registering uh, to their service. Um, so, um, okay, so when you do register, there is a 60% discount that activates uh, and uh, the uh, $7.99 turns into $6.99, the $5.99 becomes $4.99 and then the $3.99 uh, 375 I believe it was becomes uh, 299 so I guess there's a lot of uh, changes there um, and then just input your information here and uh, you're set to go so we're just gonna sign up here and get back to you in uh, just a sec alright so once you have finished signing up you will be sent to or actually you will be sent to the finished uh, the payment payment secure um, page and then after that, the main page for the website will change to this. Uh, then you can actually just click download now for the product. Uh, mine will default to Windows 10. Um, it might be different for everyone else, uh, but if you want it for mobile, you can do that, or for Chrome as well. And you can also uh, add in for um, let's see, Windows XP as well if needed. Um, and I think that's that's all we have for this one. But let's go ahead and do download now, uh, and then w which will uh, allow us to download it on our uh, device here. And uh, ours is already finished downloading, so let's go ahead and open that up. All right. So once that is finished downloading, it will will just open it up, and then this will pop up the installation uh, file, uh, and then it will start installing onto our device. Uh, and uh, we should be set up right away after it's finished installing, which seems like it's it's fairly quick, so we don't have to worry about waiting too long. 
uh, while it's installing. All right, so once it's done um, installing, now we can log in. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right away. And all right, so we're now we are done logging in here to the app. Uh, currently, we're disconnected, uh, so we'll be uh, we'll just be connecting to a, a service uh, by pressing this button right here. Very simple, um, and uh, we can also activate our firewall. Uh, and we can say firewall activated um, protects you from DNS leaks, IP leaks. So that's great. Uh, you'll be able to connect to internet unless you are connected via VPN. So, but all right. Um, that's good. Uh, it protects you from any leaks. Uh, now let's go ahead to the general information. It just displays our basic information here, and then our connection, uh, our protocol. We have three options here. We have UDP, TCP, and IKE v2. IKE v2 being the most up to date and most secure out of the three. Um, and then we have the startup, so we can have this set to start when uh, we start Windows. Um, so ours is currently do not connect, um, but we can change it to connect to best location or previous location. Um, and uh, that's good. And firewall, manual, or have it automatically um, be on once uh, we open it up. Um, and that's it. It's big basic uh, features there. Let's go ahead and try connecting to a location. Um, let's see. Uh, we also have um, uh, specific things here for UltraFlix US. Uh, Central, East, and West, and a bunch of other different countries as well. So that's great. We have a lot of options. Um, Ultraflix, California, JP, or California, Canada. Sorry, Canada. Uh, and then that's it for, for that. We can go ahead and test this, this uh, app out. Now let's do a quick connect here. And uh, we are now connected. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and actually connect to a... Um, a server here and test it out. Uh, let's do a Netflix test first. Um, actually, before we do that, uh, I do want to show um, the reviews for uh, Ultra VPN uh, here. Uh, and uh, currently, actually, surprisingly, there is no reviews yet here on uh, Trustpilot. So we're going to have to see for ourselves uh, how it's like, or we can also check other. Uh, places for reviews, but uh, normally uh, Trustpilot is where we would check for these since they're very trustworthy. Um, and uh, so we're going to have to check this out ourselves for now. Hopefully in the future they'll have more reviews or any reviews at all. So let's hope that will change soon. Uh, so for now, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the app itself uh, and connect somewhere. Um, let's start with, uh, let's do US Central and connect to there. And then we'll do a Netflix test really quick. Uh, so now we are connected. So let's do our typical benchmark, which is Lucifer. And we should be able to uh, test this out. All right, so it knows that we are using a uh, VPN or unblocker. Let's go ahead and try the West server here for the US and uh, try one more time. Hopefully it works. <laughs> um, all right, it's loading the, the episode, but will it actually load the episode? Oh, all right, it's working, there you go. Uh, before it actually plays the rest of it. Uh, so it, it definitely works for the west. Um, let's try the east side. So it, it does work for some of the other servers, but um, let's see if it works for the east side. Uh, nope. So I guess we're going to have to connect to the west side um, for that. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let's try Canada. Hope oh, maybe west will work as well. Who knows? It could be, could be different, but let's, let's try it out. Um, and uh, let's do that. And hopefully, okay, so it does not work with Canada West. Let's go Canada East. And uh, we'll see if it will actually connect. Now we're connected. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. All right, yep, so no. Sadly for our Canadian uh, friends there, they won't, they won't be able to connect. 
through this, but you will be able to just connect through the US West server. Um, let's try UK uh, and see if they will be okay. Let's actually do the Ultra Flix for this one. Maybe it will let us. <laughs> uh, so we're connected there. Let's go ahead and try one more time. Uh, and uh, all right, it's not available in the UK. So sadly, um, at least for that server. Um, and uh, we'll see if it will work with just the regular United Kingdom one. All right, so we're connected. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Um, yeah, it's, it's not available at all. So let's go ahead and uh, try uh, Ultraflix US, actually. I am curious about that. Um, we did not get to do that earlier. Now we're connected. Let's try one more time. No. Okay, so only um, West is available. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, try that out one more time. And then we're going to do a quick speed test. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, refresh this because we're currently connected to uh, the US server. And uh, let's see how fast it actually is. Uh, and uh, oh, we're connected to Hawaii. And we'll see uh, how fast the, the ping download speeds and uploads are. Uh, and hopefully it's not too bad, um, especially since it is connected to Hawaii. 166, not so bad. All right, so ping is 166, uh, and the download speed is actually pretty good. The upload speeds are a little bit slow, but we'll see uh, if it goes any further. Um, but I think it might not get higher than 1.8 here, or at least it won't go above 2. Um, yeah, it would not even reach it there. So that's okay. The download speeds are pretty decent. Um, so I think we're good there. But let's go ahead and try a different server. Uh, and uh, let's try the Canadian server on the west side. Uh, and uh, all right, great. So let's refresh this page and uh, try it one more time. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. It might depend uh, on your location. For us, since we're doing this from the Philippines, it might be a bit slower based on your location. Uh, it might be faster or slower. Um, so, But for us, the ping is a little bit slower than the US one, uh, but the download speed is actually a little bit higher than our, our previous test so far anyway. It's staying relatively close. Uh, and it kind of slowed down a little bit, but it's still really close to the previous uh, uh, download speed that we had earlier. Um, and uh, the upload speed is actually moving up faster um, than we, we had earlier, uh, at least more in a more stable um, upload speed, but it's still about the same, still about the same speed as our previous test. Let's go ahead and try the UK server and see how fast their connection is to us. Um, and uh, let's do that and see it's taking a little bit there. Okay, great. Uh, now let's go ahead and refresh the speed test here and see how fast this one is. IO Mart. Like, all right, Mart IO. That would be a fun game to have or try. Unless there already is an, a Mart IO game, then that would be interesting to see. See how, how big your, uh, I guess, shopping cart. <laughs> All right, uh, anyway, so it looks like the ping is a bit slow there. The download speed's a little bit slower as well, but that's because the UK is very far from where we are right now. Um, and uh, it's still relatively fast compared to our other um, tests there. Uh, just slightly lower than the US server and uh, a little bit to the Canadian server. Um, the upload speeds are, yeah, considerably, yeah, it's it's a bit slower than the other two, uh, so there is our test there. But let's go ahead and try it without, um, let's disconnect here and see how fast our regular speeds are without the, uh, the VPN. All right, so um, we are connecting to an optimal server here, and hopefully... All right, let's go ahead and try without a VPN active uh, and see how, how fast our uh, speed test is. And, uh, oh wow, yeah, Ma that makes sense. I mean, this is, 
something you would expect with that VPN. Uh, no servers bouncing back and forth. And uh, we are pretty fast here. So, all right. And then our upload speeds, of course, it makes sense. Again, uh, we are connected to an optimal server, which is really close by, uh, and uh, we don't have to go through a secondary server. So, but um, if you want security, then you'll want to use that VPN. But if you just want that speed, then um, I guess you don't need to use one. Um, but then it will be a little bit insecure. Uh, it will be unsecure. Insecure? Unsecure. <laughs> Not secure. All right, so let's go over some of the pros and cons of this service. So as you can see, the app itself is actually pretty easy to use. Uh, and the, the pricing is pretty cheap as well. Um, the, the speeds are actually pretty decent um, considering uh, how new this, uh, this company is, and, uh, or at least the service anyway. Uh, and they, they do have up-to-date security options as well, which is great. Um, it does unblock Netflix for specific locations. Um, and apparently it also allows torrenting, which is great, or other P2P connections as well. Um, they do have that 30-day money back money back guarantee also. Um, some of the cons for this product though are there are only a few and basic features available for the service for now. Maybe in the future they will have more advanced features um, since they are still new. Um, they do have limited servers, again, all related to the how new they are. Um, and again, the same, same reason for their lack of reviews on Trustpilot. Um, Ultra VPN is one of the newest faces in, in the VPN industry, but it's up-to-date security features and the cheap price uh, definitely makes it stick out a little bit. Um, so uh, also it was a bit difficult to look for information about the product, um, given that it is, again, new. Um, but if you are a beginner in the VPN world, uh, Ultra VPN is a decent start due to its basic features. You don't have to go through so many crazy things. Um, basicness aside though, it does give you all the benefits of a typical VPN. So feel free to stream the content you want in a safe and secure way. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, I would rate this a four out of five stars, uh, at least uh, based on the, the uh, experience we've had so far. Uh, but in relation to the other ones, I would probably other um, older VPNs, uh, it might be a little bit more 3.5 out of uh, 3 out of 5, um, but by itself it is a 4 uh, out of 5 stars there. Uh, so, well, uh, anyway, uh, that's all we have for today, guys. Hopefully, this video was of some help. Definitely check out uh, some of our other videos on the channel. I have been Aldrin, and uh, see you guys next time.